you know, I'm out here just working. And I'm thinking about the Lord's return. And y'all, I know everybody's been hearing it since they were little. That, um, you know, Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back. But y'all, we're closer than we've ever been. We're way closer than we were when our grandparents and our moms and dads were telling us that, hey, he's coming back. It's been 2,000 years and plus. And you know, it's real. And we don't even think it's real some days. You know, we prepare for vacations. We prepare to buy vehicles. We prepare to buy houses. We prepare for everything. But how many are preparing to meet Jesus? Look, look up there. One day, soon, he's going to return. He's going to return in those clouds. And he's going to come and get those who are ready and who have prepared themselves to meet him. And I want to be one of those. I'm going to be one of those because I'm going to pray. I'm going to seek him. I'm going to cleanse myself with the, with the washing of the word. That means I'm going to read my Bible. And when it convicts me and shows me that I'm doing wrong, I'm going to ask the Lord to forgive me, to heal me, to deliver me and cleanse me of that. Because he said, if you confess your sins, if you confess your sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive you. And not only to forgive you, but to also to cleanse you and to wash you of them. So that means he'll rid you of those sins. Y'all, we've got, there's sins in us that we don't even know about. And unless we read that word and uh, or, or we hear preaching that teaches on that word where the Holy Spirit can convict us, we can be dirty in spots we don't even know. You could have love of money. You could have greed. You could have hate, envy, strife, jealousy. Whatever that is in you, you could have it. And you do not want it because no sin will enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's what the Bible says. No sin will enter in to the kingdom of heaven. So if there's sin in us, we got to get it out. And that means prepare ourselves just like you would for going on vacation. Go ahead, start reading that word, start reading the directions, start asking God to reveal your sin to you, that you can ask him to forgive you, to wash you, to cleanse you, so that when he comes back very soon, you'll be prepared to meet the bride when he comes in the air and you'll have oil in your lamp from the Holy Spirit and you'll be ready to go meet him. Because if you wait till that day, it's gonna to be too late and you're gonna be left behind. And that's gonna be a, well, the Bible says it's gonna be a great and a terrible day. Now, how can it be a great and terrible day? The great and terrible day can be great for those who are ready and terrible for those who are not. So I'm asking you as my friend, if you're watching this, please prepare yourself. It's real. And, and the Bible says, just like in the days of Noah, just like in those days, as Noah was building the ark, preparing to be saved from the wrath to come, there's wrath coming, and that's the tribulation. It's going to be some of the worst things that's ever happened on the face of this earth. Jesus said so. Um, so as Noah was preparing himself on the boat, People walked by and they said, oh, whatever, it doesn't even rain. You know, it didn't rain in those days. There had not yet been rain on the earth. The, the ground, the ground that we're looking at here was watered from the, the ground. Water came up from the ground, so there was no rain, so people didn't believe him. But the day that it started raining and that and God God's hand shut that door, there was no, no more saving for those people. And just like when Jesus returns in that air right there, when he returns... There may not be any more saving for anybody that hears this word. There may be for the Jews. There's going to be some Jews that are saved. But I don't know about us that's been hearing the word for, for years now and just won't listen. God, he, he gave us two ears to hear his word and one mouth to speak. And I ask him to use my ears to hear what he says and to use my mouth to speak what he speaks and i think if jesus was walking on this earth right now today he would be saying the same thing as i am repent and turn from your wicked ways because judgment is coming and it's coming soon prepare yourself he didn't come to this earth and die on that cross a horrible gruesome death to put you in hell 
No, he came to save you. But you but you gotta be saved, you gotta give yourself up, give your life up and give it to him because he saved us and that's what he wants. So repent, turn from your wicked ways, be saved, and go with him in the rapture. And that's my that's my desire for me, for my family, and for everybody. So it is time now. Prepare your house. This is your house. And even your home with your family and children and wife or whoever, husbands, prepare yourself and prepare your family to meet the Lord because it is soon.